it's me, Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all having a beautiful start to your day. First and foremost, I am here today to film my Ipsy unbagging for February 2016. For those of you unfamiliar with Ipsy, I will link all their information in the description below, along with an Ipsy playlist so you can get a wide variety of what they are all about. Secondly, I am here with my Mickey ears today because I would like to honor an awesome promotion that Disney is running right now. If you upload a picture onto social media, whether it is Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. If you upload a picture wearing a pair of Mickey ears or a pair of mini ears and use the hashtag share your ears, Disney will donate $5 for every single picture to the Make-A-Wish Foundation up to a million dollars. Like that is so beautiful to hear. When I read that on the Disney blog the other day, I was just, my heart got really warm because it's such an easy way to raise a million dollars for a super awesome cause. So again, I encourage you to take a picture of yourself with a pair of Mickey ears and just use that hashtag, share your ears on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on, I don't know if you can do Snapchat, but any social media account, they will take it. And thirdly, I finally got a PO box. <laughs> what? Finally, it took me almost two years of you guys asking me for one. I really got it because I'm sending my address out to a lot of companies who want to send me some stuff to review, and I didn't really feel comfortable using my home address for that. That's like a fourth of the reason why I got a PO box. The other three fourths of the reason is because you guys have just been so kind lately, just you know, constantly asking me to get a PO box because you want to send me a letter, or you want to send me a picture, or you want to send me like a little trinket, and I really, really appreciate that. So I finally got a PO box, and I will link all that information in the description below. And without Without further ado, we're going to move right into this video. So this is what the bag looks like for this month, and I am absolutely loving it. It is perfect for February, especially with Valentine's Day being in February. It's very textured on the front, which is a lot of fun. And on the back, it has like a little patent leathered hot pink color, and the zipper is hot pink as well. It is so, so cute. I love it this month. So the very first thing that I'm pulling out of the bag for February is by Trust Fun Beauty, and I actually received this from Ipsy before. It is a nail polish, a full-size nail polish, and I always say this when I get nail polishes from Ipsy. If you get a really high-quality nail polish, they're usually about $8 to sometimes $15. So whenever I get a full-size nail polish in Ipsy, my whole month is already made because this pretty much pays the $10 for the bag. This is a beautiful pink color, again, perfect for February. I have used Trust Fun before. We got a lilac color in the past, and it is very pigmented. It is pretty great quality, and it lasted me, I want to say, like a week and a half, which is really good if you have real nails because my nails usually chip within like four to five days. I think I put a picture up of my nails using the lilac color on Instagram if you want to check it out. It was either Instagram or Twitter, but yeah, I'm really happy with this first product. Moving right along, the next thing I'm pulling out of the bag, I actually don't even know what it is. It just says Margaret Dabs of London, and I want to say it's a filer, but it's not like jagged or rigid enough to be a filer. It's actually kind of smooth. This is kind of where I wish Ipsy would send out little pamphlets, like all the other subscription services, you get a pamphlet of exactly what each product is. Ipsy doesn't really do that, they just throw four to five products in your bag, and sometimes you're left questioning. This is actually pretty smooth, so I want to say it's a buffer. I can't really try it out right now because I have nail polish on my nails, but yeah, I'm not quite 100% sure what this is. I know it's not a nail filer because yeah, it's, it's not like sandpaper-ish enough, but maybe it's a buffer. Next up, I am pulling out Karen Rose Hydrating Cream, and this is by Seraphine Botanicals. And the packaging is so cute on this. I'm loving all the colors. It really reminds me of spring. I mentioned this in a ton of my videos previously that I don't like to try the face creams because, or anything that has to do with my face because my skin is so sensitive and it usually breaks out. But I actually would like to take a moment to retract that statement because the past couple of months I actually have been trying out the facial products from either Ipsy or FabFitFun or Pop Sugar, and my face has been responding really, really well to them. I haven't had any major breakouts, so I I am excited to try this out. They all left my skin very, very smooth and hydrating and just overall feeling refreshed. So I kind of do retract that statement a little bit. Nothing has really been making my face break out terribly lately, which is, oh, thank goodness. So yeah, I'll definitely be trying this out and I'll let you know when I try it out in the description how I liked it. You can use this on your face or on your body. So double duo. 
There are two things left in the bag for this month, and the second to last thing that I'm pulling out is this Smashbox new Photo Finish Primer Oil, and this is for radiant, perfectly primed skin, on camera and off, creates an ideal canvas for makeup, reduces the appearance of dry, fine lines, increases moisture in just four weeks, use it morning and night, and you're supposed to absorb it into your skin before applying makeup. Now, if you can tell, this is clearly a tiny little size. It's a tiny guy, definitely a sample, but I don't wear makeup every single day, so this will definitely last me a long time. I am really impressed with these Smashbox Photo Finish products. They sent us a cream before. Ipsy had sent us a cream before, not the oil, and I absolutely loved it. It was amazing. So I've never tried the oil before, but pretty pumped to give it a shot. And last but not least, the final product in my Ipsy bag for this month is this Naked Cosmetics Loose Powder Eyeshadow, and this is in the color Sierra Nevada, and it is micro-pigmented. Now this color is much darker than what I typically wear. I usually only wear nude and natural colors on my eyes, but this would be perfect to do a smoky eye for a night out or to do a nice little shadow effect. Let's open it up and check it out. Oh, it's actually a lot prettier than what it looks like in the actual container. It has specks of gold in it. Kind of has a copper-ish look to it. I'm nervous talking because every time I talk next to it, a little bit of it is flying out. So I'm gonna hold it over here. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. Let's do a little swatch. Oh, it's not as dark as I thought it was going to be. I'd actually wear this for every day. So the more swatches you do, the darker it gets. So if you wanted to use this for a daytime makeup look, you could just do one little swatch. It's not that pigmented, but the more I am swatching it, it's getting darker and darker. I am loving the gold specks in this right now. It is gorgeous. And that is it. That is everything I received in the Ipsy bag for February 2016. And this was another home run bag for me. Ipsy is just killing it lately with their bags. I am just in love with everything I'm getting. There was nothing that I was really disappointed with this month. Everything was really, really awesome. But that's what I think. I would love to know what you guys think below. Did you like this bag? Did you not like this bag? Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I would truly, truly appreciate it. And as always, I love you guys so much and I hope that you're having an amazing day. Thank you for all your support on my channel. It means the absolute world to me. I cannot say that enough. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you guys so much and I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.